still laughing from the experiences of last night. Last night, we had the fabulous Rain Lounge, Duke, we love him, and everybody in Syracuse, Willem, was there. And I said to Willem, I said, so, honey, I said, you know, I've auditioned for RuPaul's Drag Race for six years in a row. She goes, they don't want you, huh? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. So we're on our way to one of our gorgeous daughters, your youngest, youngest. and it's her prom. Senior prom. So we'll, we'll sneak some pictures. We're not sure about it, but you know what? She's going to look pretty gorgeous. I mean, no, we're sure she's going to look gorgeous. We're not sure about putting pictures of the daughters on, but you know what? She's a diva. She already texted me that I'd be proud of her drag queen makeup. <laughs> I mean, who the hell taught her? All that hair is not hers. Yesterday I was in Scranton. Well, not, yeah, yesterday. Anyway, visiting dad. He's doing well. We, uh, one of the things I think that's important is for people to understand. A lot of people say, you two love each other so much, and we talk about it in videos and everything else, but things that I think uh, is important is that we have a very similar situation. We were both married to women years ago. Uh, two fabulous women. We, uh, Who looked a lot alike. <laughs> it's kind of Weird. funny. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... Your, your ex-wife is, is obviously more prominent in our life. And she's a wonderful mom and she's a very good woman and uh, we're fortunate to be included in so many different things but it's one of the things that I think that draws us together is that we had that experience of hiding but you were fortunate enough to have two kids I oh and that was um, for me uh, after I came out really difficult because a lot of people didn't want to date someone with kids it was so funny because that's I was like Oh my gosh, one of the funniest, I got a lot of funny stories, but one of the funny stories is my, my besties, Ruth and uh, Alicia and I, we were all down in Rehoboth Beach, and a little boost Eating up. fries on the beach. Eating fries on the beach. And I was laying in the sand crying, crying, I'm never going to have children. It's never going to happen. I, this is why, I, you know, I, I don't want to be gay because I want to have a family. And now, here we are, what, almost at this point, at years. least 10 years later, and Ruth has got a wonderful little son. Alyssia's got two gorgeous little boys. They're all, all three of the kids are gorgeous. And we have our daughters, and, and I stumbled into you. Stumbled? Well, that's interesting because we've never said on the channel how we've met. On the channel, gay.com. No. No, I mean on the YouTube channel. Oh. Um, yeah, so uh, YouTube wasn't invented yet. So we met on this little website called gay.com. Little website. I think little everybody website. knows about it. And uh, yeah, this, this little website. Anyway, uh, I was sitting there working on the computer and had gay.com open. No, I was not. Well, when you saw my Idiot. picture. <laughs> and then a little box came up and said, Gorgeous! And I Just said, Just like Fanny Price. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, his picture in there was, that I'll never forget it, it was a picture of you on the beach with your sister, Lusha, and you were holding her above your head. Yep. And you were both in bathing suits, and I was like, I know him. I've seen him at parties. I said hello to him one time, and he said, who's your friend? <laughs> well, I always thought you were the cutest thing, but you made me nervous. Anyway. Uh, you always made me nervous. You still make me nervous. Oh, I just peed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So, well, it depends. This keeps moving. So we, um... I'm, you, you can't drive. I need Velcro, I know. Uh, so, so we, uh... We set up a date. Uh, we were going to meet after I was working, uh, I had just been divorced, so I was working a part-time job in the evening as well, as my full-time job, and we set up a date for coffee after, and I arrived, and I was so excited, and he was not there. 
did beat him. Well, I called you. I he did call me. I, I got home, and he called me, uh, or he left a message, and he said, Sorry, I can't get out of way. Our work. Hope you get this before you go. So anyway, um, we uh, so we went on a date for coffee, and was this going to be a two-hour documentary, or is this just a clip? And here we are today. There you have it. Alec and Jessica. Hi. Is it a video? It's a video. Oh, it's a video. Yeah, you don't have to just like smile.